Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Lenas. You are now watching More Than 20 Days to Jam, a series containing more than 20 episodes which covers all the topics in Jam syllabus. Each episode comprises detailed class, questions, and homework. The questions and homework are from the Flash Lenas Jam application. This makes the app a requirement for this class. Visit Google Play Store or flashlearners.com to get the app. Do you have trust issues? Reach me on any of my social handles for activation guide or inquiries. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. This is episode number 33 of the 120 days to jam use of English with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be answering interpretation questions from the Flash Learners Jam application and ensure you've gotten your copy of the app. It has a whole lot to offer. So many features that you can't do without. Trust me. And this is episode 33. By now, if you've not gotten the Flash Learners Jam application, you are wrong. Look at this question. Sule would have been given the car if his father had not complained. Sule would have been given the car if his father had not complained. Now, Sule would have been given the car means Sule was not given the car. If I say you would have attended the ceremony, it means you did not attend the ceremony. Now, if his father had not complained, it means the father complained. This is a conditional statement. Conditional statements are statements where certain conditions or certain rules or certain things have to be correct for this to happen. If it didn't rain or if it doesn't rain, I will come. Isaac, Mr. Flash, will you come around tomorrow? Say, okay, if I am not tired, I will come tomorrow. Now, that conditional statement speaks of something that may still be possible. If I am not tired, I will come. It means there is high chance that I will come, but it is only if I am not tired. A situation where I say, if I was intelligent, I would have passed jam. In that case, I am no longer expressing a possibility or a present situation. I am telling you something that never happened in the past. If I went to London, I would see the Queen. So, that is not something that will still happen. In the past, I did not go to London and I could not see the Queen. These are conditions. If this, then that. Now, in this case, Sule would have been given the car if the father had not complained. But the father obviously complained and Sule was not given the car. Option A, he wasn't given the car because his father complained. Option B, he was given the car because his father complained. C, his father complained about the car and he was given. And D, he was given the car even though his father didn't complain. <laughs> Just the way we made appetite, he wasn't given the car. And because his father complained. Option A is the correct option. My mom does a roaring trade in animal husbandry. My mom does a roaring trade in animal husbandry. To do a roaring trade in a particular subject, it means to be selling a lot of something, to make a lot of sales. That means my mom made a lot of sales in animal husbandry. There is a door at either end of the building. In English, either. Is used to tell us about two things. And either always go with or. Then neither is used to tell us two things as well. And it always goes, we should go with no. If I say either, it means out of A and B. If you give me A, I am okay. If you keep A and you give me B, I am okay. Neither means out of the two, if you bring A, 
I will not take. If you bring B, I will not take. So in either, you are you can choose one at least out of the two. But in neither, you are not choosing any one out of the two. It says there is a door at either end of the building. It means the building has two ends. Let's look at that. The building has two ends. A. The building has two ends, which is correct, and two doors. B. The building has two ends, but only one door. C. The building has many doors, each many ends, each with a door. D. The building has two ends, but I do not know which of the two has a door. And the last question says, Olu gave his brother a bumpy ride. That means Olu gave his brother a difficult time. With this, we come to the end of this class. I hope you found this helpful. See you in the next episode. And don't fail to practice more questions offline with the Platinum Jam application. See you.